So this week on The Modified World, we're celebrating my birthday, punching conches, and playing host to my friend Jared Silverman. So stick around. So welcome to The Modified World. It's the weekly web show about body modification. The people do it, the people get it, why it matters. I am the conductor of this symphony of wackiness. I'm the senior piercer at the world-renowned Pangea Piercing, beautiful sunny downtown Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's right, I'm J.C. Potts. And this week, this week, well, hey, it was my birthday. And with all that, I got some stuff. This is amazing. My gay parents are the most awesome ever. So I get a package from the, from the gay parents because, of course, my birthday and they get, they know me so well. Ooh boy. Oh. They got me Louboutin nail polish. It's, it's called Scarab. It's, it looks like a, like kind of like an insect. You could totally kill somebody with the bottle on this thing. It's, it's sharp and pokey and shiny. So of course that even speaks to me more. Nice stuff. Might have to do a review video if you guys ask for it. I always appreciate it when people send me things. And since everybody's kind of figured out how to do the self-addressed stamped envelope, I wound up getting an immense amount of physical fan mail. Have a, a plethora, a overwhelming cornucopia of fan mail. Holy smokes. Look at all that. This is amazing. I know I asked y'all for self-addressed stamped envelopes so you could get the sweet free stuff, but uh, I didn't expect all the sweet letters of support and love and things of that nature. Appreciate it. It was, you know, it's humbling and it feels good. Kind of an archaic thing in today's time and place to stick stamp on a letter and send it off to someone physically. But to me, it actually carries a little bit more gravity than just like, you know, punching something up on a keyboard while you're surfing the webs. Had a long time viewer come in, used to live in the Carolinas, and now he lives up here in beautiful Michigan. Made the drive over from halfway across the state. Let me punch his conches. It's pretty sweet too, man, because I had some, these really kind of unusual conch pegs that I've had for a little bit that you know, we're absolutely perfect for this application, so I cut them a pretty sweet deal on them. And we got to do that up. Oh man, 
So when I was 12, like I, I had I had a whole bunch of surgeries and shit, and uh, had this giant hole in my leg. And uh, my mom's a nurse too. She's hard as shit. And I came, she came in, and I was cleaning the wound, and I stuck three fingers, knuckle deep into the wound, and was like, "Hey, look, mom, I can make it talk." And, shit. and dude, she turned white as my ceiling. <laughs> And my mom, and like I said, my mom hard, you know, she's a nurse, man. She's a, you know, emergency room and ICU nurse. She's seen it all. You know, little kids chopped into meat and stuff and doesn't even phase her, man. Yeah, she sees a kid drink bleed five drops of blood that she didn't draw. Oh, man, forget it. She's done. <laughs> she turned white as a ghost, falling out and stuff, hating life. Oh, my mom's death, though, man. She, she's always been really supportive of all my wacky bull. You know, like not just supporting, but like actually helping too. Like, well, son, you know what? I brought home some large gauge needles from the hospital. I didn't know if you would need these or if you could use them or anything, but they were just gonna throw them out. They said that they weren't going to use them. Well, you say. Right on, man. Well, little bloody, but gangster nonetheless. Let me see. That. Oh, man, that one's really nice and juicy. Oh, let me crank the. There we go. That, other people will be able to see that. Woo! Yeah! That's no joke. Thanks, Dylan, for letting me punch you in the head. Oh, and my friend Jared Silverman came by. Oh my God, it's Jared Silverman. What's up? How's it going, man? Oh, it's going pretty good. Just banging out some piercings. You're gonna let us get some video of you doing some sweet work on some of the happy peoples. Ooh, yeah, that might be a good plan. Yeah, awesome. We could probably set that up a little bit. Then uh, I'm gonna tell the happy people to be sure to tune in next week so they can get to see, Let's see it, man. Mr. Silverman <laughs> doing the voodoo that he does so well. I always love seeing Silverman. You can see some of my earlier interviews with him if you look on the past stuff that I've done on my channel, or I'm sure there's probably somewhere to click if you wanted to actually see any of that stuff. And I have to stop and say thank you, everybody. Because, you know, about the best birthday present a fella could get is the love and validation of the people around him. And 50,000 of y'all said, sure, I'll watch that again and click that subscribe button. And for that, I say thank you. Seriously, I really appreciate it. As a kind of a crusty old dude on YouTube, it's amazing that I wound up getting 50,000 subscribers. And so for me and Dan, my partner, Thank you, seriously, sincerely. And don't worry, we're not ever going anywhere. Well, I say that, but we're not going anywhere for the foreseeable future. We're gonna keep on doing this happy wackiness at generally at least once a week. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably should. And of course, as usual, leave me in questions, comments, whatever in the section down below, or you can email them to me. Or, of course, if you send me the self-addressed stamped envelope, I'll send you swag back anyway. I don't even have to answer your questions. But if I answer your question on the air, I'll send you swag anywhere in the world. Just my way of saying thanks. So, of course, with that, be sure to stop back by next week for yet another episode of The Modified World.